solutions to 2 cos theta equals square root 2. And it is important to notice the interval they want our solutions to live on, which is 0 to 2 pi. So that's basically the first one rotation around the unit circle. So I set up my equation, rewrote it, divide, or obviously solving for theta. And so to do that, we get rid of the 2, so divide by 2. Now we're down to cos theta equals square root 2 over 2. I personally like a 1 over square root 2. It's the way I like to remember that number. And the way I remember that on the unit circle, that is exactly halfway between 0 and pi over 2. So it's, I think of it as the midpoint of the first quadrant. That will give me the uh, 1 over square root 2. The other place, the x-coordinate, because remember, we have cosine is cosine theta is 1 over square root 2. It's the x value. And there's another place the x value is 1 over square root 2. Here we think about the x value, and that's down below right here. Our y value is negative, but we're not asked about sine, we're asked about cosine. And we also go the same distance, the same rotation, we're just going negative uh, pi over 4 here. So we're halfway down to uh, negative pi over 2. All right, I called them theta 1, theta 2. No problem. I got theta 1, theta 2 labeled right here. Uh, there is a problem, however, that theta theta 1 is just fine. It's between 0 and 2 pi, but theta 2 is less than 0. It's negative. So obviously theta 2 is not the angle that they're looking for here. What we're allowed to do is add one full rotation or multiple rotations to either of these angles, and they will end up exactly where they started. So if I did one full rotation of theta 1, I would do one lap around and then a little bit more and stop right there. I'd still have the same x coordinate on the unit circle. I <clears throat> don't have to modify angle 1, but angle 2, or theta 2, what I'm going to do is add a rotation to it. Of course, a rotation is 2 pi. And uh, of course, fractions suck unless you have common denominator. So we got negative pi over 4 plus, I'm going to change 2 pi into uh, quarters, and that gives me 8 pi over 4. So now you can see we got 7 pi over 4. That'll be theta 2. I added a rotation because we want to keep it between 0 and 2 pi. Uh, th these are the only two angles between 0 and 2 pi that have 1 over square root 2 as their x value. Um, now if this problem, so that's the end of this particular problem, but if this problem did not have a limitation right here, if it didn't say anything about theta, if we had any theta, the way I would modify this, and I'll just keep going in green, it's a little bit too thick of a marker, there we go. So what I'm going to do here is extend this problem and not worry about keeping my theta between any uh, values. So what I'm going to do, instead of just add one rotation, I'm going to go plus 2 pi k for any integer k. And if you want to write that in a more math uh, notation, you can write k this little epsilon means is an element of or lives in and we're going to use this letter uh, capital bold Z which is just all the integers we can write all the integers out like this that's all the integers and it's pretty obvious what comes after 2 which is 3 what comes after 3 which is 4 that's why I write dot 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 and of course on the negative side you know what comes after negative 2 it's negative 3 negative 4 etc cetera, etc cetera. you do have to add that there are two different angles theta 1 and theta 2 and if you're wondering how would I get the theta 2 that I'm erasing the 7 pi over 4 how would I get that I would get it from this theta 2 where k equals 1. So if you plug in 1 for k, that's exactly what I just erased, and that will give us the pi over 7. So it would be kind of annoying to answer this question, but you may see it instead of 2 pi, it might be 4 pi, and that's the first two laps around the unit circle, and I would get 2 
angles out of theta one and two angles out of theta two, where I would pick the k value of zero and one. That would give me the first two laps for theta one. And I would pick one and two for theta two. That would give me the uh, both angles down there uh, on the first two laps around the unit circle. So hopefully this clarified. Uh, now when I, when I give uh, midterms and quizzes, I eliminate this right here so that your answer will look just like it does right here.